Welcome back to Karen Go Burr, the ultimate destination for jaw-dropping Karen encounters. Brace yourself for jaw-dropping moments in today's lineup. Karen gets punched in the face after slapping the wrong guy. White woman pushes black woman and gets her whooped. Karen spits on a black man and finds out. Get ready for the explosive scene. Woman gets destroyed after resisting and biting the wrong cop. Karen getting thunder slapped for slapping the wrong guy. Karen gets snatched and arrested after a plane freak out. Karen gets stomped after messing with the wrong woman. Buckle up for a wild ride. But that's just the beginning. Let's go. This Karen couple's cat has a new BFF the next door neighbors and they're absolutely fuming about it watch no i'm not I'm, our cat. you understand our cat. i'm not even in my yard right now how what am i doing the, 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 the gates open people you're holding our cat how i'm not even in there i want you to explain how if you would go in your yard and say mercury go home don't come in our yard anymore she they will want not listen. To... she's a cat she doesn't speak english oh really you this this doesn't mean go home no huh? hand huh? signals don't mean anything it's a cat dude this guy is hilariously instructing his neighbor to send his cat back home cat pervert. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are i cat have pervert. done i've done nothing cat to bring pervert. the cat i've done nothing to pervert. bring the you know what there's a crime about you harboring my cat what crime it's is that against the law what crime is that it's called harboring an animal i can understand being angry if my cat was in your yard you're angry because your cat is in my yard. This guy really needs to relax. It's just a friendly feline visit after all. Get ready for some road rage. This Karen tried to run over a construction worker just because he told the driver the road was closed. Logic at its finest. <laughs> A mere nudge and his response is, hit me again. You go, construction worker. Here comes the excavator. Nice. video was cut short, but it's good to know that the excavator actually stepped in to defuse the situation and bring some sense to this Karen. In the final clip, watch as a woman resists a police officer, goes in for a bite, and ends up with a punch in the face. Oh my god! Wow! Biting a cop. Talk about a bad decision. And that punch? Was it justified or maybe a bit excessive? <laughs> we have here a situation where a Karen, armed with her professional camcorder, confronts a delivery driver and even resorts to physical assault. Just watch. Time I was attacked by a crazy Karen, would I doing? have to deal with being a delivery driver in Portland, Oregon? It's 7 o'clock. You leave it right. It's not about the noise. It's 7 o'clock, ma'am. It's about you turning your vehicle off. Seven o'clock. To your law for your commercial license for driving it. It's seven o'clock. Leaving it on for ten and fifteen minutes every time you're here. It's seven o'clock. It doesn't have anything to do with the time of the day. It's seven o'clock. Just trying, trying to make money and make it back home. Wait for it. You she gets mad, mad. Driver's license. It's, it's seven o'clock. Fraction of your license. Just gotta do what you gotta do. They don't have your license. You have a license. Seven o'clock. What do you keep saying 7 o'clock for? 7 o'clock. It's, it's 7 o'clock on the dot. What is 7 o'clock about, it's seven, it's 7 o'clock, baby. What are you saying? Are you like a broken, are you that stupid? It's 7 o'clock. Oh, you're stupid. You're just wanting to... It's push. 7 o'clock. It's seven. Oh, you, you, just, you just touched me? Harassment? You just hit me? Oh, that's hit assault. You. That's assault. Really? Call you you hitting me? That, you, that's assault. Call him. You're hitting me? That's not it. I did not hit you. Hey, boo, it's seven. I got your face. Hey, boo, it's seven o'clock. I got your face. Boo. It's seven o'clock. Oh, you just hit me. Wow. Hey, 
You actually hit me! Looks like the 7 o'clock trick worked like a charm. Now she's getting a taste of her own medicine. You're breaking your commercial license. It's wow. 7 o'clock. Damn, listen, what happened to me, Do you have a commercial license to drive? It's 7 o'clock. Are you in the street? Why are you what? in the street? Maybe you should check your commercial license. Oh, man. Fingers crossed that Karen learned to mind her own business and let the delivery driver do their thing. Brings us a Karen who believes that complaining about her perfectly made sandwich is a legitimate sport, and she's going for the golden entitlement. Open up the food. Well, if you screw up on it, she asked me if I wanted cheese. I said I said who made your sandwich. What? I made it. But okay. she's, she already ate it. You asked me, you remember you asked if I wanted pepper jam cheese. And then you were busy making somebody else's sandwich. And she's raising her voice at the poor worker, blaming everyone but herself. It's a classic Karen move right out of the playbook. I said, is my sandwich even uh, done yet? And then she reached over and you, took some ham. Ma'am, there out. is cheese on it. There is cheese under the ham. There's no cheese under yeah, that there's, ham. There's cheese under the ham. There's cheese under the ham. Exactly. There's cheese okay. right there. It was good, wasn't it? It just still tasted funny, but oh, if there's cheese, then that's all I'm complaining about. So, um, it just didn't taste like it. You know, like I said, it was the fact that you were distracted. You were making two sandwiches at the same time, and then my I know I'm, I'm, I get this to be all the time. I just get this sandwich all the time. So I, I know what something. Does. So, but I happen to be almost all the way home, and I just start taking two bites of it from starving. Okay. But even when she realizes that she's the one in the wrong, she doesn't let up, continuing the argument like it's a never-ending loop of absurdity. Next up, we've got a Karen who's convinced that she's the sovereign ruler of the universe, and she's here to claim her throne. No surprise there. You're trespassing, ma'am. Please stop. Like I said, I'm sick of your shit. I don't care that you're sick of me. Just stay off my property and we're fine. Yeah! Well... Yeah. Okay, I am. Great. I'm still on my own property. Like I said, touch my boob again, I'm calling the cops. I don't care. If you touch my boob again, I'm calling the cops too. How about that? It's going to be a fair, fair square deal. Good effort, dude. Don't bring it over here if you're I can bring my shit wherever I want, lady. Why can't I? And of course, she escalates it by threatening to call the police. Well, she might just get her wish, and they'll show up to pick her up themselves. Karen's in for a bumpy ride. Please get your stuff off my ground. That post is actually the line, so that's still on my side. That's still on my side. I know. That's still on my side. That's still on my side, Janet. That post is on my property line. This is not your post. That, this side of the post is yeah, my know, land. Yeah, is so your... where is that board at? In space, ma'am. It's right there. There you go. Your other pallet is still on my line, on my side. I'm pretty sure that pallet's still on my side. Why is she casually trespassing on someone else's property without so much as a may I? Seriously, someone get this Karen a map, a compass, and a swift reality check. Prepare yourselves for the next act, featuring a Karen who believes she's entitled to everyone's property. It's like a Karen's dream come true, hoarding other people's stuff. You're gonna be on YouTube. Yeah. Like in front of the kids, make an idiot out of yourself further. Oh, you're really gonna damage your fence. Do you think I care? No, you don't care. I can tell. Do you think we care? <laughs> I just have a question. Why is the woman doing it, not the man? Because I don't know. the guy's normal. The woman is crazy. Yeah. Well, look, he's got to live with her. He's the one with the problem, not me. She's putting in Olympic-level effort to damage that fence post. What's your end game here, Karen? Is she trying to set a world record? I think you need to hit harder. That's not going to work. Oh, you're damaging my fence post. This is their fence. No, that's our fence. We paid for that. <laughs> we actually share it with everybody. Well, you know what? If you would have approached normally, yes, because we did with every single person. And you know what? You should come and clean it up on our side. Pardon? You should come and clean it up, all the damage on our side. Yeah, you know what? Clean up this. Put in a new post for me. I didn't have walls in my post. <laughs> oh, my God.
Let's just hope that when the dust settles, she receives a hefty bill for the damages. That'll knock some sense into her, because honestly, what even was that? And this Karen's upset about a customer using a shopping scooter, unaware his knees are hurt. But the boys join the Karen mode, stretching the drama. Karen. Stop talking and listen. I'm allowed to record whatever I want. No, you cannot. Yes, I can. I can record whatever I want. What are you talking about? Just stop. Why are you in the park? Look at my knee, man. I, I explained to you. And it hurts. Okay. Are we supposed to give an explanation for why he's in the car? Did you have somebody standing on the back of it? Okay, I didn't realize that though. But I paid for my stuff. When, when, I don't steal. And second of all, I wouldn't be on the car if I didn't need it. And I'm not doing anything. Where is your car? It's outside. Where? In the parking lot. That side or this side? I'm using the restroom, ma'am. Okay. I'll wait and I'll help you. And I have my ID. Like, there's no need for you guys to do this stuff. You realize this, this is like weird. Okay. Because I paid for my things. No, I paid for my things. If these aren't able to be used by a person that... I'm not... It makes no... Absolutely no sense. Have I stopped you from using it? You just told me. You just checked me. Like, if I'm I stealing did. these things I, and I paid. No, and I'm you showed my ID. I'm checking your age. You think the, the guy was stretching the situation like bubble gum, despite her giving him permission to leave for the restroom. I do not do Because you are harassing me. You no. can't what? Do that. <laughs> Yo, yo, what? We're harassing you. Yes. You don't have to be walking with us. You don't have to be walking with us, though. How are we harassing you? You know how many people are there? No, You're going to sue for what? We can sue you. What are you going to sue for? Yeah, what's the law on that? What's the law I get the lady's perspective, checking on them as it's unusual for young people to use the card. What do you guys think? Who was the real Karen here? In this video, a fight breaks out after a boy disrespects a girl. The girl slaps him and he retaliates with a thunderous slap. Then another guy steps in to defend her. Just watch. <laughs> Now these guys are going at it. It's a brawl. wild scene. Remember, slapping someone can bounce back like a boomerang. And there you have it. This concludes our journey into the fascinating world of Karens being, well, classic Karens. If you found these moments as intriguing as we did, there's more to come. We look forward to having you with us again next time. Normally, it's the cops crashing the party, but this time, it's a Karen taking the spotlight. Did you turn the down, please. I think the whole neighborhood's been very patient. She tried opening my door. That's certainly one way of calling them. Opening the doors yourself. Excuse me, I think the whole neighborhood has been very patient. If you don't turn that Me watching down, her point her finger in my the face. The whole neighborhood has to listen to it, and they don't want to. Turn it down. That music was turn Mexican music. It's rather shocking to think that someone would dare to disrupt the innocent enjoyment of kids celebrating a birthday. Seems like this Karen's wild run from the police came to an end. Watch her tantrum and misery unfold as she gets cuffed by the police. Stop her. Shut the car off, man. Shut the car off. It's freaking Thanksgiving. I just got a divorce. My daughter's not with me. Can you step out the car, please? What in the... I'm trying to get home. About the car, please, ma'am. Yes, sir. What? Is, no, they, no. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Can somebody come get your car for you? No, I don't have anybody. You guys, please don't. I just got a divorce. I'm trying to move. Please don't do this.
What are you doing? Please let me out. I live in a $3 million house right down the street. And you won't let me out of my neighborhood. Well, living in a fancy house doesn't guarantee you any special treatment, I guess. Ah! Are you taking me all the way to jail? Can we just get this over with because I'm going to lose my daughter today? That was a, I haven't seen her in three weeks and I'm supposed to see her this morning. Stop. <laughs> Maybe she should have considered the consequences before hitting the gas pedal. I live in a $3 million house with these ass no, you did not. Get back in the car now. Back in the car. Ah! Have a seat, okay? There you go. Where? Sit. Right in here. Put, put your, put your, your left foot up. There you go. Now put your, put your. You guys can pick me up. I don't know what the you, you want. Oh, I can't follow directions when I can't see. Right, step up. There you go. Put your butt on the thing. Up a little bit more. You can feel it. I know you can. Ma'am. She's making this so much harder than it needs to be. Well, these bad decisions keep happening until you work through your problems. This is one bad decision. Well, a few in a row, you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Interestingly, she was already facing charges when this video was recorded, and she was also charged for this incident. Here's a brave kid confronting a Karen who's turned into a paparazzi, tailing and snapping pics of them. I want to see your camera We can video you just like you're videoing us. I'm not videoing you. You're yes, you are! There's videos of us over there. That's not legal. I'm not taking videos. You are I'm, taking videos of us because I'm just minors. saying I'm in my neighborhood. And I don't know you. You said no. I knew you. I don't know you. I've never seen you in my life. What I say about following I've not seen you in my life. You cannot follow us. Exactly. You lied to us. Don't follow us. Don't take pictures of us. You lied to us. Are you less than 18? Put your dog. Yes. Are you less than 18? That's right. You cannot take pictures of us. I will explain to the cops that you're harassing my neighborhood and you just We're made, me, and you just made me fall. This is downright pathetic. Watch her pulling excuses out of thin air. We're so I know. And you I also made me fall because I was emotionally distraught. Who? But you did. All we didn't of them. Push you oh, out. Oh, my what? You were laughing, we, being distraught. We, we were being dramatic. Why are your kids here? Nobody We were all in the ghost car. Right. We're gonna leave, but if you follow us, that's not allowed. I wanna play Minecraft! That's whatever you okay. want. Kudos to the kid for holding his ground. In this clip, a racist Karen stirs up trouble over pool access, arguing with a woman recording and targeting kids. Suspicions arise about his motives. Just watch. Unfortunately, we have some rules, and the resident who lives here has to be here. He's a pool. resident. Who I see the little boy with the dress right there. Are y'all out here messing with us because it's a bunch of black kids? Are you no. being racist because it's a bunch of black kids? No, this has nothing to do with that. That's We're what I feel like it is. Check. I feel like it's because it's a bunch of black kids out here. No. What? I got yeah, and it says two guests. Are you a resident? No. What are you? Supervisor. You're a supervisor of what? I can help you. Um, who's the who's the adult resident? Bryson. Bryson. Is he home? Uh, he's at work right now. Okay. So what we need to have... But this, he also lives here. Okay, so what we need to have is the leaseholder here. Uh -huh. And then you're only allowed to bring two people with at the same time. So the gentleman who's in the pool, is he a leaseholder? Well, I'm pretty for sure his mom is. Where where does the rule say a leaseholder? say a resident. On here it says, let me put this up on here. I'm putting this on Facebook. This is crazy. Residents and their guests. But you said the leaseholder. This says resident. This Karen seems to be fishing for reasons to kick these kids out of the pool. First with leaseholder claims, and now he's questioning their age? And I'm like, look, and you better, that's what you better do, is ask everybody at this point. Better ask everybody for their IDs, wear her bracelet up, she need her band, she don't look like she grown. In the end, everyone should have been treated equally and just enjoyed their time without drama. Meet the ultimate combo, a racist Karen with road rage. This time, she's not just spewing hate, but also getting physical. Let's dive into this wild encounter. She just assaulted me and spat in my face. What did you do to my car? What did you do to my car? Not only did she spit at her, but now she's also throwing things? Hello? Stupid psycho? If 
finding stuff in the street and you're coming to say it's mine? Does the neighbor have cameras? Yes! Yes, they have cameras! I hope they are Jewish and you see how they're going to fuck you. It's unfortunate how some people make everything about ethnicity and race. Hopefully, that Karen faced serious consequences for her actions. This Karen's dishing out threats and the cabin crew's playing defense. Can she even understand crew member language and all those wild gestures? Karen, you're wild! Oh my god! Hey yo! Karma finally caught up, and Karen got herself a one-way ticket off the plane. It was an overdue exit. Plane diva down. Oh my God. Yo, <laughs> why they carrying her? Damn! They needed a small army of security to haul her off. Karen's reign of terror had a turbulent landing. Thrilling conclusion, though. In this classic Karen parking spot drama, Karen is determined, but this woman is not backing down. Let's see who emerges victorious. So it was Friday, June 9th, around 8.30 p.m. when I encountered my first ever Karen situation. Here I am trying to back into a parking spot that I patiently waited for. Then here comes Karen, zooming out of nowhere at full speed, trying to get into the same parking spot. As you guys can clearly see, the parking spot is directly behind me, and I'm backing into it. The way her car is positioned, she literally went around me to try to get into the parking spot. You can move. Hit no, you can I'm move. Hit this car, my, the you're my not car. gonna hit it. You, you're not gonna decide for me. Okay. I'm gonna go hit a car. Okay. Look, you okay. Need to take, you, you need to go, and okay. you need to go pray to Allah, because right now what you're doing is no. so... Bringing someone's religion into the argument is simply unreasonable. It's completely disgusting. <laughs> Talking about you need to go pray to Allah. No, you need to you go need pray to, to go. Allah. You need to go. Right now. You need to go. If a police, I work for a law firm. So if a police comes here right now and you touch my car, you're at fault because you are operating your car. I'm simply parked. So there's your insurance claim. You want to put fixate on that? I work for a law firm. So bring it. So after 10 minutes of harassing me, this Karen finally realized that she can move forward and i can happily back into the parking spot and we can both go into trader joe's and live happily ever after surprisingly the situation ended calmly it's rare to see such considerate karen experience an intense police on police chase in this clip a speeding officer refuses to cooperate with a colleague during a traffic stop watch He's the guy that uh oh, Copy on it. Bump it. Yeah, one one zero seven zero. Pull over. You gonna pull over? Please say a command. Pull over. Three one thirteen to three thirteen. What? Do you, I am going I, I, into work, my man. Why are you trying to pull me over as I'm going? Because you're work? going eighty and a forty-five. In eighty and a forty-five. Yikes! I have what no, does it look like I am dressed for? My name is Deputy Hilton, and they see your driver's license. No. Okay. After witnessing this, I can't help but recall the classic Spider-Man meme. Three one thirteen. Copy at ten fifty. 10 for I got a city uh, Orlando PD taking off from a traffic stop. Uh, it's going to be 
X ray Fox Rod 6207, XF 6207. The Orlando police officer was later relieved of duty for speeding and leaving the traffic stop. This Karen can't resist nosing into other people's business. I'm not a police officer, but even if cops did have to disclose it, and because I've worked with law enforcement before, I can tell you this, they are not legally required to disclose anything to you. That's they a myth. Here no, to entrap that's me. a myth. That's no, a fable. That's not true. If you've got a chip in your head and you think they're looking for you, that's on you. But you're clearly I don't think talking that, to the wrong but person. You're saying it. I don't care. You came no, over no, here. See, you're harassing I, me. I, I never said I'm that. I'm sitting but here you having my coffee. Yeah, I'm sitting here having my coffee. So and you what's called wrong me. with your back? Nothing's wrong with my back. What's wrong with your legs? My legs work fine. How else do you think I bicycle well, here? You're in a quadriplegic thing. This is called a recumbent bicycle, okay? Great. It's adaptive use, huh? <laughs> it's whatever the f I want it to be. It's comfortable. I can go 10, 15 miles, and whenever I want to break, I sit here, I have my coffee, and I look at the beautiful view. And most of those times, I'm not bothered by some lunatic hanging around Camp Rich calling people by the wrong name when they pass by. I'm not. You, you said something about Rick. That's not my name. When I drove by earlier. I'm like, okay, you no don't problem. You know who Richard Tobin is? Who the f is Richard Tobin? Who the f are you? You don't know anybody named Chance? Who, I've known many people Did named Chance in my 40 years here? on the this earth. The FBI sent me here because the guy worked at, uh, stayed at the hostel. The FBI said, hang on, just back up a little bit. We can no, have a conversation. I have a but Would you like to see a picture of no, my no, no, son no, no. with a gun to his back just of his head? Just take a couple feet back and so, we can have no, a conversation so if you'd like. No, I don't want to have a conversation with a car. Good, then go away with a car. I'm an Autobot. I better roll out. See you later, crazy Karen. Why is she poking her nose into this guy's good time? Is she the fun police or something? Well, if you keep you acting like this, you're going to have a lot less in your head. <laughs> I said if you keep acting like this, you're going to have a lot less in your head. They're going to take what you away for like? electroshock therapy. That's what they do to crazy. <laughs> I don't need electric shock therapy. All right, well then leave people alone at the beach. This Karen probably ruined his vibe, but let's hope he shrugged it off and enjoyed his day anyway. In this clip, a male Karen and his dog join forces to protect their property from a determined angler. And he sent the dog. Yeah, Good the, job, Odie. Good yeah, the, job. Yeah, the, yeah, the fish aren't here, but sure. Well, if the fish are not here, you don't have to be here. That's why we're throwing that way. Well, I don't care where you throw. I saw if you don't dog. care, if you don't care, if you don't care, you don't care then you wouldn't be out here, Why are you even out here? You just don't embarrass... argue with me. Go over there. You're embarrassing yourself, bro. We're not moving. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't care. Okay. Good luck. Then why are you out here? Bobby, yeah. Come on. Yeah, go ahead. Help Abuse it. your dog some more. Oh, my God. Get me all the fish. Oh, this is why we laugh. It's everybody over here. It's been a great video. Seems like the dog is being used as a fish fetcher in this bizarre battle against aquatic animals. Poor pup. We can fish whatever we want because we're allowed to. If you have a problem with it, call the FWC. I'll be happy to speak with them. Then stop talking and start acting. Oh, uh, you, know, you know what? You should call. You should call, you should call them. them. Because when we laugh, when they tell you they're not doing anything wrong, I'm going to call you a fucking idiot. And I'm going to laugh at you. So the the number's nine the number is nine one one. The number is nine one one. So there you go. This Karen couple is on a mission to oust the fisherman, but the legal reality just won't sink in. Just let people fish in peace, Karen. It's not that complicated. Meet Carl, who's turning eye rolls into a full-blown drama session, showing us why minding your own business is an art not everyone has mastered. Paul, oh, I met Karen's husband, How Carl, today. How can I today. help to you? Yes, did I do something wrong? Why are you all in my face? You roll your eyes at me? I surely barely did, because you all in my face. I can't hear you. I can see you. I see that yellow on your teeth. You might as well go and get out of my face. What is the problem? Get out of my face. Well, why'd you roll your eyes? Because I got, I got a privilege to. Why your ass so be? Clearly, Carl needs a hobby besides eye roll detection. Who knew eye rolling could be such a crime? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mama. Your mama. You surely, dearly can. I want to call them. Call them. Call, call them. Call them. You better get out of my way for you. You better get out of my face. You better get out of my face. You better get out of my face. She's making a wise exit from the eye roll police before things escalate further. Karen's checking in for a drama-filled stay at the hotel, but security's got their own plans for her checkout. Are you look at me, skinny You wanna go out and go with her? I'll pick you up like some pussy on my back. Push you with the doctor and throw her away. Jesus, hot right now. You know what? I'm hot. Eight hours yesterday, and I said I'm going to clean my files. It's still not clean. It's the next day. It's 
Instead of calmly addressing her concerns, she went full Karen mode for a hotel showdown. Security to the rescue. Thankfully, they intercepted the Karen's show before it became a series. Banning might not be such a bad idea. Yet another Karen strikes, interrupting these girls' video shoot with her unwanted appearance. Who has slain the choreo? Then this lady tried again to interrupt us. These girls tried to stop her. Oh no, not her again. What's her latest mission this time? This is getting hilariously absurd. Then after she took the ice cream of one of the girl and threw it on the ground. <laughs> Karen, let me be the star of this show or no one gets to have fun. In this hilariously unexpected twist, a Karen's misguided attempt at a slap ends up landing her a punch to the face that she never saw coming. This video teaches us a valuable lesson. When life offers you choices, choose not to slap the wrong guy. Meet a dad who takes child protection to the extreme, unleashing a vocal battle that would make even a thunderstorm jealous. What's your name? No, it's really not. You need to apologize to my daughter. You don't Ooh. yell at a 14-year-old. But Gramps isn't one to back down. This shouting match is escalating faster than a squirrel on a double espresso. What's your name? I'm not telling you that. Apologize to my Ooh. daughter. She apologized just to us for walking across. She was on the fence, you dumb. Ooh. The ball was it's over there. Public place. She can walk you are a jackass for calling out, yelling at a 14-year-old, mother. Ooh. 14! How old are you? Ooh. 75, 80, 90? 14! How old are you? As they compare ages, it's like watching a race between a tortoise and a hare, but with shouting as the sport. That's f***ed up, man. You, this guy, go, go. this guy, my daughter picked up a pickleball on the fence. This 75-year-old f***ed her out for coming on the court. That's f***ed up. Next time, before traumatizing your child, consider acting your age and like a responsible adult. Airplanes, the ultimate battleground for Karen. This one's here to belittle everyone for their seat choices, turning the cabin into a comedy club. <laughs> She takes it upon herself to berate everyone behind her while she's the only one performing the stand-up routine. Even the flight attendants seem done with her antics.
Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. Her eviction from the aircraft. Bags included. Bon voyage. Behold, a landlord with a flair for drama, armed with an electric saw, ready for a tenant showdown that should come with popcorn. His eviction plan backfires, leaving him with a 130-mile drive and a lesson in humility, courtesy of his tenant. Pro tip, next time you visit the bank, make sure to acquaint yourself with their policies. An ounce of knowledge is worth a pound of unnecessary sawing. For some reason, this lady thinks that this guy sitting in the parking lot is a crime of some sort and takes it upon herself to engage him about his criminal act. The please. dunk needs water. Vehicle, Peter, come help. I'm not this leaving is, here until listen, the Listen, listen, sweetheart, this is America. This is a free... I know Black Lives Matter. Get your house out of here. Get your out of this parking lot. I can't believe this right now. I can't believe you. I can't believe your attitude. This is this is amazing. Why are you here? Why, Why are you harassing me is what I want to know. Because hmm. you have been sitting here. I've been watching. Enjoying myself, right? Enjoying myself, huh? <laughs> enjoying the sunshine. Just enjoying my business. Sweetheart, you just go hack. Enjoy your day. Look, your dog needs some water. Your dog needs some water. The sun does not seem to be bothering her because she'll stand there all day if she has to. Even her dog is suffering from this heat, but oh no, not her. You need to give your, your, your pet some water. Mm -hmm. I'm Robin. <laughs> you don't have a sticker. You don't belong here. Hi, my name is Candy. And I don't like this guy. I I fear this guy. You fear, I'm fearing you right now. <laughs> Can, can you go back to your car, please, ma'am? <laughs> no, you just get out of here. This is my parking lot. You get your ass out of here. Oh, sh**. Get out oh, of here. Oh, wow. Get out of here. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, what, can you calm down? What is, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong I with you? I don't like my skin. Is, my, is, it my, is it my skin color? You have been, you have been sitting here for more than an hour. You said that your mom lives here. You said your mom lives in 911. There's no such thing as nine one. This is this black man harassing a white woman. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. It don't look like it, cause I, I'm in my area and you're not in your area. Can you go in your? your whoa! Come on now, back up now, ma'am. Ma'am, please back up, ma'am. Hmm. Hmm. All right, you have a nice day. Don't don't hit my don't hit my vehicle again. All right. No guarantees. All right. Have you ever seen an angry black man? Because you about to see that. Have you ever seen that before? I can't. I can't believe you. Somebody's mother right now. <laughs> Somebody's grandma. Well, this encounter had me just as confused as the guy in the car, honestly. In a shocking clip, a Karen pushes a woman, but soon realizes she picked the wrong person to mess with. Just left her alone now. Now you got some motherfucker. What the? F oh my goodness, she's really giving that Karen a beating. Oh my God, cops are on the way. Cause she she keeps putting her hand on her. Don't cry now, cause this is what the f you wanted. This is what the f you wanted. This is what the f you wanted. Okay, uh, okay, that's ah, enough, baby. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Go in the back. This is what the f you wanted. I gave you what the. You want it? Come on, baby. 
In a twist of karma, the Karen finds herself on the receiving end after initiating the assault, serving as a reminder that actions have consequences. Thanks for joining us on this wild journey of Karen encounters, from the white woman who met her match, then the entitled Karen who got kicked out by hotel security, and the chaos unleashed by those who thought they were above the law. Karma has spoken, and these Karens got what they deserve. This Karen is blocking the iconic Brooklyn Bridge over a fender bender, convinced of a scratch. But it's microscopic. Everyone's trying to reason, but she's got the police on speed dial. Bro, Bro, look at this. Bridge. She should just move, but she's not. Yo, look, look, look. There's no damage. Wait, hold on. There's really any damage, you traffic. No injury. No, you could just pull over. Don't yell at her. That's fine. Just pull over so the rest of the traffic can pass. The police are telling me. The police are telling me. You get the police are telling me. They're not going to tell you to stay where you are. There's no injury. You are on speaker, man. There's no injury. They're not being harassed by three different men. She's on the off ramp to the Brooklyn Bridge. She's on the off ramp to the Brooklyn Bridge and she has room to pull over. You're spinning at me, too. As you're talking, you're spinning at me. Yo, only in Brooklyn. By the way, this is going on the, on the internet. This video is going viral, but this Karen couldn't care less. She's rewriting the Big Apple's traffic rule. And this guy's a an idiot for rear-ending some to begin with. What the? The world needs more patience and fewer mini-dramas, Karen. Clear this traffic mess and let's keep the bridge moving. In this clip, we have a Karen airline agent with an attitude, refusing to help a frustrated customer trying to rebook his flight. No, I want to talk to you. I mean, you're the agent, right? You're supposed to be wrecking my flight. That's what I was told. I'm sorry, just tell me what it is and I'll post it on the airline. No, it's not your fault, but I'll post it in there to see if they can do anything. So you're telling me there's no flight tomorrow, right, to Portland? Even though I booked for today, there is a flight, but I'm not going to be booked because it's a random system or I'm on a list or something like that? And now you're refusing to comment just because it's easier, right? I'm sorry that you're an employee and you're dealing with this, but you have to give me answers. You're the representative here. Ignoring the customer and walking away mid-conversation is just plain rude and disrespectful. Mr. what can I do for you? Hi, I've been told that my flight is canceled. I'm trying to rebook and I'm told that there is a flight, but I can't book it. Yeah. Thankfully, the manager steps in. Let's hope he can sort out the rebooking for him. But some people did get on that flight, though, right? Because no, we just picked the other no, lady. No one got on that flight. Everyone's flying. Well, the last lady was here. She was crying. And she got rebooked that flight. On the 25th, sir. No one got rebooked for tomorrow. 30 full aircraft. Okay. So that's the only thing we can do is either refund your ticket for Las Vegas to Portland sec section, or we can put you on the flight leaving in the 25th. Someone needs to send that attendant to customer service school ASAP. In this next clip, we've got an eco-conscious Karen, a rare breed to see in the wild, but equally irritating when they emerge. We have one Mother Earth, right? We have one Mother Earth. You get it, right? One Mother Earth. Take care of it. Sorry, did Respect I it. it. Respect it the I'm way sorry. it f***ing deserves. I'm sorry. Have a good f***ing night. I'm going to send it to your f***ing manager. Your f***ing I'll, I'll get him. And yeah, he's don't gonna worry. Kick you out get too. your manager. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> let's go! Justin, let's go! I don't yes, care about you kids, let's go! Now, it's great that she's concerned about the environment, but maybe she shouldn't turn someone else's workplace into an eco disaster zone. I'm sorry to bother you, Justin. Your employees don't care about the environment. I didn't throw this out. Don't if worry, I'm recording. I'm recording this whole time. I'm recording on Facebook Live. Facebook Live! Facebook Live. Facebook Live! Have a good night. Facebook Live! I'm sorry, Facebook I didn't... Live! Have you don't care about the environment, bitch! Uh, you don't care about the environment! We have one Earth! We have one planet! And you're gonna shit about it! We have one Earth! Respect it, bitch! It houses you! It homes you! It makes sure you're good! You're gonna shit! Excuse me! No, no worries! Have a good night, bitch! Thank you very much! Crashing into everything and demanding to see the manager. It's classic Karen behavior. But what else can we expect from a Karen at this point, am I right? And now, let's transition to a barista Karen. A rare find in the Karen ecosystem, but a worthy one nonetheless. Oh, no, this. no, 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 say that. Right, so you spit my food, right? You gonna say that, camera? Thank you. 
Tell me you spit my food on camera. She's boldly claiming that she spat in a customer's food? That's not just a red flag, it's a health code violation waiting to happen. Seriously, the audacity knows no bounds. Tell me you spit my food on camera. I did. I spit it on Walker Jr. Come on, let's go to the police station. And hold on tight, because it sounds like the distant wailing of police sirens. Could it be the karma police making their grand entrance? Party vibes gone sour as Karen crashes the scene, complaining and filming the boys next to her. Awkwardness level maximum. She sat down right next to us and starting using slurs saying we were disturbing her. She's not bringing anybody into it, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> no, I'm 17. No, I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm under. I'm under age. Wow. Well. Dude, I think it's it's time to go home. It's time to go home. <laughs> Getting in everyone's face. <laughs> She's taking party pooper to a whole new level by harassing these boys. Look how fast she dipped. See you later, Karen. Security to the rescue. The party crashing Karen vanished in no time. Watch as Karen learns a lesson about spitting on people. It's like a wild soap opera where everything goes out the window. This woman's life is like a dumpster fire, and we're not sure what's worse, the spitting, the punching, or the groping. It's like a dramatic trilogy all in one clip. Moral of the story, kids, don't spit on people or you'll get smacked in the face. There's just no other way to spin that tale. Our next scene is one that's likely to boil your blood, featuring a male Karen who thinks he has the right to touch other people's property and even their children. Just watch. Is that what y'all? No. Don't, oh, oh, you're about to don't get touch. You're about to get no. sued. Don't touch. You're about to get sued. Can I have a member of quickly to grocery You're about to get sued. You're about to get sued. Look at this guy. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> No. Okay. I'm getting paid today. Woo! I just need to see your receipt. Where's your receipt? Show me your receipt. For putting your hands when my brand, my daughters are right. Not touch your no, 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 no. You're gonna lose your job and everything, buddy. You really want to lose your job for Walmart? You just have to have look at that. Look at you. You're shaking, and you touched my car. Why is it that these Karens believe they can just touch and boss other people around? The entitlement is sky high, and it's time to bring it back down to earth. With my daughter in here. Look at you. You're a complete You're idiot. Yeah, what the Wait, are the you doing? Can I just have someone up here? Did we steal something? No. So they, no, because my notes okay, are. Okay, so check their receipt. Okay. Check everybody else. You better do that. Okay, everybody in here better this. get the receipt. Okay. You have the receipt. Okay. Okay. You have the receipt. There are no other registers over there. That's why you have to. There is. They just closed it right now. Okay. I'm getting paid today. He has my receipt. What a. Woo! You got the receipt too. Have fun protecting a million dollar corporation. What an idiot. Let's hope the guy sticks to his word and takes legal action, because Karens, you've been warned. It's a showdown of fur and fury. Meet the self-proclaimed interrogator Karen, who's got an issue with a four-legged shopper. How how, how how do this dog body is it's, it's so yeah, little? Yeah, no, it, shop. Yeah. No, because he'll bring it in the store and oh, no. the rules. Yes, it bothers me. Good. Go. I mean, right there. Service animals welcome. That's a pet. No yeah, pets my, allowed in the parks. My, my dog is rested in everything. Where are the papers? Hey, guess what? I should have it restrained. And see? 
Okay. Service animal welcome. Good. Service Carts. animal. That's a cart. Great. Go inside. Go find the manager. Go find someone who cares. Oh, right. Why? Why? Why today? Yeah, you, 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 choose, you, you choose. You choose. You choose me. Why are you so mad? What's, what's going on? Because nobody cares. Nobody. Well, like, you have a child. I don't care. This Karen's on the warpath, confronting a guy with his dog inside the store. But why so mad? It's not a barking issue. We're we're not allowed to really say anything like that. Now, if you want to call our corporate office, I do all the time, and they said that yes, that this should have been enforced. I called and spoke with them. And they said, yes, if the dog was in the car, mm -hmm. then it shouldn't have been allowed in the store. And it's because of what's his name, Matt or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. Man's trying to explain, but Karen's on a rampage, dialing up the drama. She's got a direct line to the allergy police, it seems. Another day, another Karen trying to bend the world to her will. Will she ever learn to pause for thought? It's like watching a Karen's rage turn into a TikTok dance challenge. This one's all about how to go from furious to flustered in seconds flat. Hold on to your donuts, folks, because the assistant manager is about to drop a verbal nuke. What are you going to do? Oh, the suspense! You're gonna slam a window in my face? That's very rude. Sorry, I'm glad you backed up. Glad you backed up. You're smart. Okay, I'm waiting for my stuff. If I irked the restaurant staff this much, I'd expect a side of humble pie with my coffee, and maybe even a sprinkling of special sauce. Our second clip? Well, it's a masterclass on why you should never mess with people who've already got their hands full. Common sense, anyone? Here's this woman here blocking my car in while I'm legally parked in the handicapped space. Here's, a, here's her plate number. Here's the woman who is assisting her in holding me against my will. Excuse me. Get out of here. Don't touch me. I didn't touch you. Don't, don't touch me. You don't have any permission to. Dude, lady, you you're coffee. in public. Get There's no expectation of privacy, privacy in public. Just go away. Just go away. Just you could have got. You could have walked away. You could have walked away. You understand that I have a handicap placard. It you're blocking me up. in. It was not up. It I was, was on up. my phone doing it something. It was not up. I was on my it phone. It was not up. It should have been up. It was It's up now, isn't it? You. Don't touch me. me. Don't touch me. Don't touch my stuff. Car. I'm not doing jack. Ooh. Call the police. I'm staying awake. Okay. Ooh, I cannot take care of you, okay? Excuse me. Oh, I would get that out of my face, ma'am. But hey, Karen here's a revelation. People can be superhero rock stars with multiple disabilities. Meet your new inspiration. The only one that's being reached out of the people that are blocking me in and not allowing me to leave, which is illegal, ma'am. Totally, 100% illegal. I was on my phone. Do you got a problem with me using my phone? First of all, you don't have any. You have no. You have no idea what my 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 disability is. So mind your business. How about that? You're not supposed to have more than one. Doesn't matter. What's mine? And you're 100% wrong for blocking me in. Really, lady? You're the one that came out after the fact. So why don't you mind your business? Have a nice day. Enjoy the day, ma'am. Have fun. Oh yeah, okay, stupid. Okay, stupid. Hats off to this guy for taking Karen's insults and turning them into a superhero origin story. Next up, we've got a canine caper where Karen's dog takes a bite out of a 60-year-old woman. But Karen's excuses? Well, they're leakier than a rusty faucet. I need to see the bite. I need to see the proof. I'm looking. I have information here. Show me the bite. I know. Show me. Show me the bite. I need to see it. Come on. Do the dog. Do the dog. I need to see the bite. No. You need to show me the bite. I'm away from her real quick, and I'm gonna get her away from them. Okay. I need to see that. If my dog bit you, then show me the bite. I have the record. I have the record. I deserve to see it. I had yeah, that I had that bed. Yeah, 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 so, she's saying that my dog bit yeah. her, but I just want to see it. Where's the guy with the white cane in this circus? He's like the unexpected guest star in this wild Karen drama. Stop. I've been looking for a boo. Go ahead. Boo. I'm not scared of you. You don't want to do that. I just said, show me the fight. 
I had the Biden record. Who's ghetto? I had no, the Biden. Ghetto! I had the Biden. Yeah. I'm North. Right. Okay, we're well, gonna get out of my face, please. Party. Can you, know you please get out of my face? Can you step back, please? Yes, yes, I don't know. Here's hoping the old lady triumphs and Karen gets a taste of doggy justice. Now that's a plot twist we'd pay big bucks to see. This Chinese Karen is guarding her daughter's parking spot like it's the last piece of candy at Halloween. Here, another case. A woman is standing at the spot trying to get the spot while we are by first. All right, here. Here. Another one standing here blocking the spot and not letting my car to park in. All stuck in here then. You, your car was in the back. Your car was in the back, all right? And your mom or whoever she is, just wave and tell you to come over while my car was here first, all right? Is she an NPC glitch or just a foreign tourist? Either way, she's the embodiment of a Karen and it's glorious. You were in the middle? I w yeah, we saw a spot, but then we park. Wait, okay, so your mom is parking or your car is parking? You tell me the answer. If she's, par if she's parking, tell her to lay down on the spot. Who's parking? Are you parking or your car is parking? My car is parking. Your car is parking, but your car is all the way in the back. You just drove up because your mom waved to you. Huh? Yeah, but my car was in front of you, right? Yeah. So if you were reading, so the whole block is yours? No. Thank you. But that's why Thank I had you. someone come up. You so it doesn't same. matter. Yeah, you, car you is here first. Finish. Okay, okay. So no one takes the spot if this is how it's going to be. No, I'm taking the spot okay, because so. my car advised first. Surprisingly calm Karen interaction. Maybe she's reserving her energy for a future meltdown? Huh, we can only hope. Here we've got ourselves a Karen showdown. This woman and what appears to be the owner engage in a heated argument. Popcorn might come in handy. The businesses next to us that don't want to hear oh, That's what happens when people come in and get ratchet tattoos and start acting up because they can't afford it. It's weird. Somebody asked them to leave. I don't know what's going on. What's your bank account looking like? This woman's behavior seems quite unreasonable, causing a huge scene. My own business doing way better than you, you, Tom, they can have it all up in the shop. So you need a lot. Don't start disrespecting, okay? Who's disrespecting? Don't disrespecting? For the whole shop, okay? Like It looks like she finally met her match. Hopefully they called the authorities and the situation de-escalated quickly, presenting a Karen upset with her neighbor's 4th of July fireworks, determined to voice her disapproval. What's her goal with these drive-bys? If she's trying to run over the fireworks, she's definitely missing the mark. In 
a hilarious twist, this neighbor's drive-by attempts to quell fireworks end up sparking more entertainment than expected. This kid's back talk to the bus driver raises questions. Was the driver being a Karen or just maintaining discipline? Let's have a look. Monday morning, we are walking in. Monday morning, we are walking in together, the three of us, to this Alexander's office. Whole bunch is silent except for you two. And you're still talking. Yeah, because God gave me a mouth, so I'm going to use it. But people don't know. Oh. How to not tell when somebody's talking or somebody's not. I'm going to use it because God gave it to you. Innocent. Okay, so people like me to getting people like you innocent in trouble. Okay, that will be on my report. That lady is handling this very well. More power to her. I think everybody else is going back there talking, being silly, and it's not just us. Are you done? No, I'm okay. Get out of your face. Oh, wow. Look there. Look there. Oh my God. Appropriate consequences could have taught him respect for his elders. This woman is furious about alleged speeding, but there's a twist. It's a private road and the accused claims innocent. Let's see how this confrontation unfolds. The other night you were doing it at like 12 o'clock and it went hmm. I, I don't think you think it, I think you think it's funny. I don't think it's funny. I don't want you to kill any child. I don't want to that kill that's children. Fake. I want children to kill I'm talking about when you come down. She says you're going 90 on the way back down. I'm into the figure of speech. He's going so damn fast. How fast do you if think I'm going? I was in the street walking my great grandchildren and the dogs, which Can I do. Oh, go shut go. up. No, go okay. down. I couldn't no, even get out of the street. Yeah. All about the speed. Okay. I don't care. Okay. All you do is slow down. I'm not speeding, though. I, I... This guy seems pretty confident and chill that he wasn't speeding. Probably that you feel that I'm speeding, but I'm really not. What are your thoughts on this situation without concrete evidence? Share your opinions in the comments below. And yet another convenience store Karen who thinks she's the boss. Stomping her feet, causing a scene, and arguing. Isn't she a bit too old for this childish behavior? I'm your best to lead him. Ma'am, ma'am. Your best to lead him. And I am. You know what? Your best to lead him. 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 Even throws punches and fights with the clerk, all while her daughter tries to restrain her. We're hoping she gets arrested and learns a valuable lesson. Another flight, another Karen. This one's making a fuss, refusing to budge from her seat. Looks like the whole flight had to de-Karenize. 
Check the bag for free. Check the bag for free. Let's go. I'm going to do it. Why don't you say something to me? Don't say nothing to me. We're wasting our time. I don't care. Get off the line. What are you talking about? Hey, I might want to talk. Hey, I might talk. Yelling out a child. I want to get out here. Everybody, like, come on. I'm not. I'm not worried about nobody. I'm not worried. Okay, baby, and I'm not worried about nobody. Okay, good. I'm not eating. The Karen is clearly furious to say the least. Thank you, like she's still in my face. I'm not leaving now. That's not how that goes. They were starting with me. Looks like security is finally taking action and attempting to escort the woman out. Stop talking to me. Don't talk to me. Stop talking to me. Don't talk to me. Anyway, anyway, like I was mother lying. Anyway, like I was saying. Yeah, it's still the same thing. Yeah, The whole flight had to deplane for this Karen. Total waste of time. Someone needs a flight ban. Yet another Karen on a plane. What is it with Karens and flights? This time, a staff member takes customer service to a whole new level. Check out her charming approach. I'm not mad at you. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Aircraft is just so until we're in the aircraft. 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 But this is a FAA. So the FAA says you have to proceed to put your seatbelt on while this is happening. Okay, yeah, so yeah, her tone screams I'm not angry, but the passive aggressiveness is strong with this one. I know. Ma'am? Ma'am? Excuse me. It's not a pigeon, but when the announce was made, uh, they said people in priority can move around priority. Nobody said that there was you have no to announcement move. made. That was made. Ask everybody. There, there was, was an announcement made. I'm not going to argue. No, no. All right, just a second. Yes, yeah, not arguing. You guys are not living up to the words that you said, and you guys are not being patient to the people here. Talking to customers like that, she needs some serious retraining. This Karen's public display of disrespect comes back to bite her when Karma decides to pay a visit. Mind your business. Nobody else said anything but you. So mind your business. I got the wrong paper. Uh, I don't give a That's how it goes, baby. Okay, okay. Yeah, say, say, I'm gonna ignore him. What, what's up? A few moments later. To, um, like to be quiet and whatever. Yeah. And I told him, I told him, I was like, hey, if I'm bothering him, there's a lot more chance. He goes, no, you move that. I told them to leave me alone. Zero. Looks like the presence of security, or cops, quickly adjusted her attitude. It's quite satisfying to witness a dose of humility. This Karen's car park job is so awkward, it could win a comedy award. Let's roll the clip and see the roadblock drama unfold. So that's what you chose to do today? No, it's not. It's what you chose to do today. <laughs> that is crazy, y'all. Look at this. She's stopping the whole pump because she want to pump gas. And look. Oh, no, you better walk in the face first. Look. So, no, she just put her card in there. Thank you. She just swooped in on you? Yeah, she put her oh card in gosh, there. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? No. no. I scooped up on you? Are you kidding me? Where is my car right there? Whatever. 
Wow. Hey, brother. Man. You're, awesome. You're kidding me, right? That's no, crazy. He's not. <laughs> he's not kidding you at all. Okay. Ah. That car is basically playing a real life game of Tetris with the parking spaces. Hey, look oh. off. You ain't, you ain't even really buying off. nothing. Shut up. Shut your you ain't <laughs> buying nothing. <laughs> Oh man, yo. Don't, don't, yeah. you. A little kindness and consideration can go a long way, but it seems like this Karen missed that memo entirely. Oh, the classic case of the missing order and the disappearing refund. This guy's caught in the virtual limbo of online orders and computer glitches. Take a look. I want my money. So I've asked you for my money back and you're not going to return my money? No, we can give you your money back and, and I'm, yeah, I can tell you personally. Thank you. I don't I'm waiting. To me, so I'm, I'm waiting. This is a public institution. Taco Bell is a publicly traded company. When you work here, you you choose to be surveilled by cameras. Period. Wait, no one, no one's asked the right question. How does he get a refund? Oh, I did. And you know what they said? We can't do it. Excuse me. How does he get a refund? Okay. If your camera, if your camera. So I've received no food, and you're refusing to give me back my money. This looks like a mess. Hopefully this gets resolved soon. Okay, so you're telling me that we just made an order. If I wouldn't have said nothing, if I wouldn't have said nothing, how long would I have had to sit right there until it did pop up? Until it popped up already paid for it. So I got it on and I was screaming. She just said it hasn't popped up yet. That's not what I wanted to order. The issue is, is that when I came into this store, I was told by this lady that y'all do not sell Mexican pizzas. Y'all are out. This gentleman comes in, orders one, y'all prepare it. Now, what's the issue here? Is it a color issue? No offense to you, but I want to see. That seems strange. Why there's no Mexican pizza for this guy? What it is, please give me my money back. Man, I don't care about not I'm Jewish. I'm Israeli. I'm not white. So you can say you got as many white people as you want. You don't watch Dave Chappelle? Don't do that. Sir. Don't do that. Don't do that. For you to do that, to say that, to be honest. Yet again, so tell me what makes me and his order different. Ain't nothing that y'all order different, y'all. So why did she tell me you do not provide this service and he received it? Fingers crossed for a calm resolution and a refund in the works for that guy. This poor woman is facing her first encounter with a Karen. The Karen is demanding the impossible, asking her to reschedule her appointment ASAP. At four and I yes, and today three. was the last day. That's not our fault. Boom. You got off. Okay, ma'am. So if you're Boom. to me like that, I'm going to need you to exit and go to a different doctor because we're not going to deal with you being late to your appointment. Okay? I have a job just Okay, like so go to your job and tell them you have an appointment Ooh. and you need to get off early. That's what you need to do. Talk about a double standard. The latecomer is hoping for compensation while the lady gives her a lesson in punctuality. Later I can do 8, 8 a.m. Later. He doesn't Not do better. contacts in the afternoon. Bullshit. Ooh. It's like she's lost in a maze of confusion, searching for answers in all the wrong places. Price, if you can't find me I'm not charging you nothing. I'm okay, telling you the date, April 27th. That's the soonest no, I can do. Okay, you not. can go somewhere else if you like. Bullshit. She could have saved herself from the embarrassment by simply admitting the mistake instead of blaming someone else. In this clip, Karen's dad might be a cop, but she's definitely no law expert, clashing with an officer who clearly knows the rules. Okay, you could close the glove box. I'm sorry, what for? Because I'm asking you to, ma'am. What's your probable cause? What's my probable cause? Obviously, I do this every single night. You don't know what probable cause means, okay? I do. My dad's a police officer. Okay. I, well, was I can tell you right now, I'm smelling there. alcohol. It's very strong. I, I need you to step I on out, ma'am. I just him up from a club. Okay, go and step on out for me, please, ma'am. Okay. Again, what's your probable cause? Because... You're providing a breath sample because you didn't explain it to me. Ma'am, listen. I am way too old for this crap to be dealing with the argumentative stuff. I explained to him multiple times. I've never 
I am to the point. Before, so I'm, I'm sorry, to the point where I don't. It, I, don't I don't know. Want this Karen's turning a simple situation into a full-blown spectacle. I don't you. understand how I can explain to you any better. Your it's a simple, basic not stuff. My Would you like to read it? Maybe that will help you. That might help me, but cool. you haven't offered it. Stand me up. That. Look, it's right here. In the end, it's clear that even a connection to law enforcement can't always help a Karen escape a legitimate traffic stop. Oh, the classic Karen car collision dance. Watch as she tap dances around any guilt or concern for the poor girl's car that she just hit. Oh my God, I said I'm sorry. His mama didn't hit the whole front end your car tore out. Okay, but you, you still can only, hit you it. You can barely see it. No, I mean, that's I, not the point. Uh, yeah, that is the point. No, that's it's not. Point. Some people want to be greedy and they see it. So she's being greedy for doing an incident report? That's absurd. I'm not being greedy. I mean, you hit my car. There's a crack in it. Like I'm just doing the thing that I'm supposed to do. Uh, an incident I didn't report. I put no crack in it because there's not no pink, there ain't no red stuff on my truck. Okay. No red paint. So. Okay, we'll just talk. You have to prove that I done it because I mean. That I've done that. I'm sure they have cameras. There's one right there yeah, pointed no, at I'm it. I'm not talking about hitting you. I'm talking about that, that proving that I put the dent in there. That dent had already been in there. I have a pictures of my car. Like I know I that was not. Of it, don't you? Yeah, I do actually. Mm -hmm. you just to be snobby. I'm not being snobby. Like you mm -hmm. hit my car. So? If, it's if my someone car. If someone backed into my car made, or backed into something I was driving my van or whatever and made the old place, I'd be like, that's fine. It's not a okay. million dollar car. You don't have to. Make a big report on it, make people's skin turns go up a bunch of wood shit. Okay, but what saying. makes you think that I can pay for it to get it fixed? If you don't need fixes, go on freaking what do you that, that's something that's this Karen needs a reality check. Dents don't care about the car's price tag. A dent is a dent. I I mean I don't want it there. I don't like that there's a dent in my car. Oh uh, wow, well, like it's a million dollar car. What? Out here at the bypass. Let's hope the authorities step in to serve some much-needed justice. This elderly Karen has a sudden change of heart about her nail color choice and decides that she wants a refund. But the nail artist isn't budging. Uh, done. It's so pretty. You like them? Well, I don't know. What do you mean? I don't, I don't know if I like them. You don't like it? No. What do you don't like about it? You picked it. I don't know, but... Just the more I'm looking at it, I don't like it. I think you're gonna have to redo them all. Uh, why did you Why did you tell me when I finished two fingers? The nail artist's logic has left the Karen speechless, and she's at a loss of words. But now that they're all done, I just don't like it. Uh, so I want you to redo them. Okay. If I mean, if I redo them, I'm gonna have to charge for another set. No, you're not. You, you're gonna have to pay double. No. Because I'm taking my time out to redo them no. for you. No. No. You can sit here missing redo them. Oh no. Sorry. I don't do. Okay. So I don't do refund, and I don't. I don't do that either. Well, they look so. like. How's that? Redo them. No. Sorry. I'm not redoing that. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna sit here. Okay. You you, you, know, you have fun so. sitting here then, because I'm not gonna redo them. Yeah, uh, sorry. You can sit here yeah, all you I'll want. I'll sit here all day, and um, if you have nail polish people coming in, I'll be here. Okay, go ahead. The absurdity of this situation is off the charts. It might be time for the nail artist to call in the security for a dramatic exit. A road raging racist unleashes hate and chaos on the highway, culminating in a shocking arrest. Tensions skyrocket as racial slurs fly, leading to a violent car crash. It's a stark reminder of the unchecked anger and bigotry on the road. Justice prevails as authorities arrest the aggressor for an assault with a deadly weapon. Stay safe and let's combat road rage and hatred together. We have a roadside showdown where a protester lady ain't taking no crap from the honking male Karen trucker. Honk if you love Karen. <laughs> <laughs>
can't tolerate the male Karen's insults, and she hits him with pepper spray. Well deserved, Karen. Spice up your life. <laughs> Then, another woman steps in, and things take an unexpected turn. Fists and punches, oh man, it's a plot twist Karen style. Will the male Karen ever back off and learn some respect? Welcome to Popeye's Meltdown, where we've got a Karen creating chaos and making employees cry. Just watch. My pleasant experience here, a memorable one. You have a very bad. Please don't. I have a very bad what? Would you like Please to repeat don't. what you just said? This Karen's relentless, pushing an employee to tears, but the manager's had enough. Yeah, actually, he's actually being aggressive with my cashier. He questions why he should leave, but as soon as the manager talks to his higher ups, he's out of there. Will Karen's ever admit they're wrong? Man, farewell, Karen. We've got a Karen at a fishing spot causing chaos like it's her full time job. It's the real drama by the river. This Karen's on a rampage demanding these folks leave like they're on her turf. Threatening to call the cops and snapping pics? Seriously, Karen? <laughs> You can't throw hands on me. And you just threw our pole in the water. I'm gonna grab my pole. You can take a picture. I've been filming the whole thing. I'm gonna grab my pole before I leave. Oh, I'm not? Please tell me you got that on film. That you just pushed me. Yeah, no, I got it on film. I got it on film. Please show my face. You just threw our pole in the water. Big deal, you little Hey, hey, don't get mad when I when I go walking through. When I go stomping through all that Ow. You're on private property, you little We squirt. understand that, I'm sorry. These folks are apologizing for trespassing, but Karen's behavior is off the hook. Fishy business indeed. You yeah. have to get out of yeah. here. I gotta grab my pole I don't out. care what property. you do. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm we going can stay? Get off our property. Wait, wait, I'm we going can to stay? I'm going to get in your pond now. Lady, I'm not throwing you in the water. Get the f*** out of here. Get the f*** out of here. Not yet. I'll Yeah. Who are you, uh, who are you here? Uh, I know a couple people here that like told me that I could come fish this spot, but I'm not here with anyone in particular. Right now. Yeah, this lady came down earlier and she was like flipping out on us. It was crazy. You got a couple other guys here? Yeah, it's my friend and then um, his girlfriend Kylie. Know? So I can just go say, hey, you know these guys are here and you guys, nobody else will have any issues. Who do you know? We met this girl named Tish. Yeah. The guy mentions knowing Tish and Rick, and maybe that'll put a lid on Karen's fiery antics. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride through the world of Karen. From the explosive punch to the face, millionaire Karen's humbling moment, camcorder Karen's shocking aggression, and the cringeworthy construction worker incident, remember, karma always finds its way. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.